Hey, praise God, hallelujah, woohoo! Jesus restores my soul, hallelujah. And he can restore yours too. But you gotta lay everything at his feet, hallelujah. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Glory be to Jesus, hallelujah. And you gotta leave it there. <laughs> or you hinder, you hinder the works that Jesus wants to do in your life, hallelujah. Leave it all there. Thank you, Jesus. Redemption draweth nigh, hallelujah. Okay, so I've written 
everything down because it it's um it goes a little little smoother that way. Hallelujah. <clears throat> so Genesis 3 20 through 21 Adam called his wife Eve because she was the mother of all living. 21 unto Adam also and unto his wife did the Lord God make coats of skins and clothed them this is the first time God gives them a form of redemption after their sin in the garden of Eden eating the forbidden fruit oh <laughs> Jesus <laughs> help us not to eat forbidden fruit <laughs> oh Jesus hallelujah okay Genesis 6 15 hallelujah and this is the fashion which thou shalt make it of the length of the ark shall be 300 cubits the breadth of it 50 cubits and the height of it 30 cubits Redemption is Noah's Ark. Hallelujah. Okay, so <clears throat> the Lord told me to take 300. I was like, Lord, what's 300? <laughs> He's like, we'll take 20 and put it in there. Divide it in there. Okay, so I did. It's 15. Okay, so 15 is rest. It's saying to rest in the Lord Jesus Christ in his redemption hallelujah 15 times hallelujah thank you Jesus <laughs> thank you Lord hallelujah Ooh, rest and redemption hallelujah thank you Jesus Noah's Ark <laughs> thank you Lord and then 50 50 is Pentecost hallelujah thank you Jesus <laughs> Thank you, Jesus, for Pentecost. Hallelujah. And 30 is dedication and the blood of Christ. Hallelujah. So the ark is, <laughs> thank you, Lord, resting in God's redemption. Hallelujah. <laughs> thank you, Jesus. Mm, thank you, Lord. Okay. Genesis 8. 20 through 21 and Noah built it and after unto the Lord and took of every clean beast and every clean fowl and offered burnt offerings on the altar and the land smelled and and the Lord smelled a sweet savor and the <laughs> thank you Jesus and the Lord said in his heart I will not again curse the ground any more for man's sake for the imagination of man's heart is evil from his youth neither will now that that was the 20th verse <laughs> you get that <laughs> 820 <laughs> neither will I again smite any more everything living as I have done God required animal sacrifices to provide a temporary covering redemption of sins and to foreshadow the perfect and complete sacrifice of Jesus Christ hallelujah uh, Genesis 8 20 and 21 so so 8 is new beginnings and resurrection 20 is redemption and reconciliation and 21 is exceeding <laughs> exceeding sinful of sins it's like really bad but remember we can take the sword of the spirit cut those bad numbers in half <laughs> and redeem them hallelujah and then it turns into a two and a one and two is <laughs> union like a man and a woman union hallelujah and witness witness is Jesus sent them out two by two. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And one is unity. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost are all united together. Hallelujah. All three are one. There is one God. Hallelujah. And 
new beginnings. One is new beginnings as well. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So, <laughs> thank you, Lord. What the Lord has been showing me is his numbers are actually part of his spoken word. Hallelujah. And that's why they all line up with what we do every day, every, like our birthdays, everything, like uh, whatever it is in our lives, it all has to line up because they were spoken before the foundations of the earth. Hallelujah. <laughs> because God is omnipotent and he's everlasting. Hallelujah. And he's perfect in all of his ways. Hallelujah. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Lord, open their eyes. <laughs> oh, their spiritual eyes, Lord. Open them to see what I'm talking about. Hallelujah. And I'm just learning this too. He's showing me and, and taking the blinders off. It, let him take those blinders off in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. Genesis 12, 1 through 20. Hallelujah. Now the Lord had said unto Abram, get thee out of the country and from thy kindred and from the father's house. Has anybody been asked to leave their house and their kindred <laughs> for Jesus? Oh yes, oh yes, it is a thing. <laughs> and sometimes we have to spiritually do that or we will be, we won't ever succeed in the Lord Jesus Christ and what he has for us, hallelujah. Okay, <laughs> thank you Jesus. Okay, thank you Jesus. Out from the kindred and from the father's house unto a land that I will show thee. God working on bringing Jesus later on. God had to separate him from his kindred and father's house because of grievous idol worship. Jesus, he, he is a jealous God. He wants all the attention. Mm, he's a consuming fire. Hallelujah. Let him consume you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, Genesis 14, 20. Hallelujah. Notice it's the 20th verse. 14 is deliverance and salvation. 20 is redemption and reconciliation. Hallelujah. And blessed be the most high God, which hath delivered thine enemies into thy hand, and he gave him tithes of all. Abram met with Melchizedek, hallelujah, priest, most high God, a type of Jesus, hallelujah. <laughs> Speaking redemption all over in that scripture is so beautiful, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus is the Melchizedek priesthood. Hallelujah. He is the high priest. Hallelujah. He is the king of kings and the Lord of lords. And there is no one above him, below him, or beside him because he is God. Hallelujah. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Okay, Genesis 18, 20. And the Lord said, because the cry of Sodom and Gomorrah is great, and because their sin is very grievous, redemption was needed. They needed redeemed. We need redeemed when we're so grievous like that. Jesus, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Mm. Okay, it's pointing to redemption. Redemption, redemption. Genesis 19, 20. 19 is faith. 20 is redemption. Hallelujah. Behold, now, this city is near to flee unto, and it is a little one. Oh, let me escape thither. Is it not a little one? And my soul shall live. God granted Lot this, and didn't destroy Zor at first. But God had to send Lot out to the mountains because Lot feared to live in Zor. Those cities were all very wicked on that plain and God had to destroy them all. Redemption is for the righteous. God redeemed Lot out of those cities. Even though he desired to live in a city, he couldn't. 
He had to go to the mountains. He had to separate himself from the wicked people. Because light and darkness do not mix. But God is faithful and will deliver his own. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Redemption draweth nigh. Hallelujah. Ooh, thank you, Lord. Genesis 23, 15 through 20. Abraham buying a burial plot of land from Ephron for 400 shekels of silver. Hallelujah. Okay, so... Exodus 30, 13 says a shekel is 20 uh, geras, or however you say that. Uh, so 20, we have it again, 20, redemption. Everything just re just returns to 20, to 20, to 20. God, God is beating it into us. He wants to redeem us. He's redeeming us. He's redeeming us. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Silver. <laughs> a shekel. And 400 is 20. Okay, so he told me to take 20, divide it into 20, into four, 400, and it's 20. <laughs> 20 <laughs> times 20 is 400. <laughs> thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> redemption, redemption, reconciliation. <laughs> thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Lord. You're so wonderful. And then Genesis 31, 38 through 41, this is 20 years, <laughs> this 20 years <laughs> have I been with thee, thy ewes and thy she-goats, this is Jacob, hallelujah, <laughs> have not cast their young, and the rams of thy flock have I not eaten. Jacob confronts Laban. God is bringing redemption through Jacob's bloodline. And God emphasized 20 years. <laughs> Hallelujah. Woo, thank you, Jesus. Woo. Okay, Genesis 32, 6. Esau coming to meet Jacob with 400 men. Hallelujah. <laughs> this was so exciting when the Lord showed me this. Okay, 400 men. Woo. Thank you, Jesus. And Jesus is saying, redemption and reconciliation with 400 men. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. It's all about redemption and reconciliation. He loves us so much. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Genesis 32, 14 through 15. 200 she-goats and 20 he-goats and 200 uh, ewes and 20 rams and 30 uh, milch camels uh, with their colts and 40 uh, kine, that's 40 cows, and 10 bulls and 20 she-asses and 10 foals. Okay, so the Lord told me to, <laughs> okay, 200 plus 200, <laughs> he told me to add all those, the present that Jacob had for Esau, okay, so 200 and 200 is 400, <laughs> reconciliation and redemption, Ooh, thank you Jesus, and then plus 20, plus 20, that's 40, Okay, so 440 divided by 20 is 22, and 22 is Jesus' light. And you know what guides our path? <laughs> Jesus' light, that's right. And so Esau's coming with 400 men, and Jacob is coming with this massive present because he's fearful of Esau that he's going to kill him. And, you know, and meanwhile, Jesus is coming at him from both brothers saying redemption and reconciliation. <laughs> redemption and reconciliation. And he's lightened their path. Mm. And he preaches all that through the numbers <laughs> that were written in the Holy Word of God. 
Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, see, 200 is insufficiency. <laughs> and the Lord's like, why don't you put 20 into 200? Well, that's 10 times. 10 is man's government, okay? Man's government is insufficient. It can't do what God's perfect government does. <laughs> so, so it's insufficiency. See, so, so that's why Jacob's present when he when he actually says in the word that, oh, that's not enough. He sends them in a group of two hundred and another two hundred. Okay, so he's like he just keeps sending it, but the but the numbers are all reckon conciliation and redemption and Lord we just praise you we thank you Jesus hallelujah and that your light leads us hallelujah thank you Lord hallelujah mm. he is the light that guides us hallelujah thank you Jesus okay Genesis 33 1 through 20 1 through 20 <laughs> 20 verses hallelujah Esau meets Jacob with his four men Jacob passed over before them and bowed himself to the ground seven times which is the number of completion hallelujah mm, thank you Jesus until he came near to Esau his brother Esau ran to meet embraced fell on his neck and kissed him they wept <laughs> thank you Lord <laughs> oh Lord and he brought a parcel of a field where and he, and he bought a parcel of a field where he had spread his tent at the hand of the children of Hamar, she, uh, Shechem's father. That's verse 19. Hallelujah. For a hundred pieces of money. Okay. So, and that's the New, Liv uh, New Living Translation says silver. So silver money was a shekel in those days. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So so like the King James said money, but it, it, okay. <laughs> silver was their money. Hallelujah. And a shekel. Hallelujah. So a hundred pieces of money. So a hundred. One hundred is children of the promise. <laughs> thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. And Numbers 347, the shekel is 20 geras. Hallelujah. 100 divided by 20 is 5, and 5 is grace and dying to ourself. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And he erected there an altar and called it uh, Elo, uh, Elohi Israel. I'm terrible at those <laughs> timely names, sorry. Redemption and reconciliation, hallelujah. Children of the promise, grace and dying to ourselves, hallelujah. We praise you, we thank you, Jesus. You're so wonderful. Genesis 37, 28. 37 is divine word of the Father. 28 is eternal life, hallelujah. Genesis 37, 28. Sold Joseph to the... Ishmaelites for 20 pieces of silver, which is shekels. <laughs> Reconciliation. Redemption. Hallelujah. And they brought Joseph into Egypt. Redemption and re reconciliation. Joseph's brethren sold him to Egypt. What was looking bad, God turned around for all their good. <laughs> thank you, Jesus. Ooh, thank you, Lord. Genesis 45, 20. 20th verse. <laughs> Redemption and reconciliation. And Joseph brought all the land of Egypt. And Joseph bought all the land of Egypt for Pharaoh. For the Egyptians sold every man his field. Because the famine prevailed over them. So the land became Pharaoh's redemption by Jesus, reconciling us back to the Father. <laughs> we, when the famine gets so bad, we got, 
we got to sell out to Jesus. We got to sell it all and just go to his feet and lay it all down. <laughs> Reconciliation and redemption. Oh, Jesus. Exodus 6.20, the 20th verse. Hallelujah. Six is the weakness of man. And Amram took him uh, Jochebed, his father's sister, to wife, and she bare him Aaron and Moses. And the years of the life of Amram were an hundred and thirty and seven years. Thank you, Jesus. So we got 20, redemption. 20 is reconciliation. 100 is children of the promise. 37, the word of our Father. 3, the perfect completion of timing. And 7 is completion. Hallelujah. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Exodus 14, 20. And it came between the camp of the Egyptians and the camp of Israel, and it was a cloud and darkness to them, but it gave light by night to these, to his people. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So that one came not near the other all the night. God kept them separated. Hallelujah. Mm. Darkness and light cannot mix. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Redemption, deliverance, and salvation. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Exodus 26, 20 and 27, 10 through 11. Thank you, Jesus. The tabernacle, 20 boards, 20 pillars, 20 <laughs> sockets of brass, 20 fillets of silver, redemption and reconciliation. <laughs> come to Papa. <laughs> Jesus is saying, come to me. Come to me. Hallelujah. It's all over the dimensions and all the the things of the tabernacle when you go there and you read them and you, you you're reading how many things and the measurements of stuff i mean it's beautiful god is wooing us and telling us he loves us and he's reconciling us hallelujah to himself hallelujah he's redeeming us back to the father hallelujah Hallelujah. Hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Lord. Okay, Leviticus 27, 3 through 8. Redemption price. Males. Okay, this is like the prices of redemption in the back end when they had to do the uh, sacrifices. Okay, this was very interesting. Hallelujah. Redemption price. Hallelujah. Males from 20 years old <laughs> and even unto 60 years old shall be 50 shekels of silver 50 is Pentecost and shekels each one weighs 20 <laughs> caras or whatever they call that oh, redemption re reconciliation hallelujah <laughs> oh, thank you lord mm. And females, oh, I might add 60, is three 20s. And three is the perfection of completion of timing. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Okay, 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 okay. All right. Females shall be 30 shekels which is dedication and the blood of Christ. Hallelujah. And 30 is when Jesus started his ministry. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Mm. Okay. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. From five years old, five is <laughs> grace and time to yourself. Hallelujah. Five years old, even unto 20 years old, the males 20 shekels female 10 shekels and and of course 10 is insufficiency 
It's, it's, <laughs> I'm sorry. It's man's government. It's uh, responsibility. It's the law. It, it's, uh, you know, the law like the Ten Commandments. Okay? It, it <laughs> oh, Jesus. Uh, if it be from a um, month old, even unto five years old, males, five shekels. Five is grace and dying to yourself. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. <sighs> five shekels of silver. Mm, thank you, Lord. Females, three shekels of silver. Hallelujah. <laughs> and, and you see the repeating pattern here that Jesus just keeps bringing these same numbers, these same things. Redemption. Reconciliation. Grace. Die unto yourself. Hallelujah. Mm, it's not... It's not for our pleasure. It's for his pleasure. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He's ruling the roost. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. <laughs> okay. And if it be 60 years old, and this is where, okay, I heard somebody say one time, there is no retirement in the Bible. Oh, but when I read this, I was like, oh. Yes, there is. <laughs> okay, so, okay. If it be 60 years old, males, 15 shekels. 15 means rest. It means rest in Jesus, okay? But it's very interesting that at 60 years old, the male's price was 15 shekels, which means rest. It's time to rest. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> and the females, 10 shekels. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Hallelujah. <laughs> and, and then, if you take the, the males and the 15, I mean, the 15 for the males and the 10 for the females, and you add those, okay, 15 and 10 is 25, and 25 is forgiveness of sins. <laughs> Repentance and forgiveness of sins. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Ooh, thank you, Lord. He's so wonderful and beautiful and perfect in all of his ways. Hallelujah. Leviticus 27, 25. And all thy estimations shall be according to the shekel of the sanctuary. Hallelujah. 20 geras shall be the shekel. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Numbers 1-3. From 20 years old and upward, all that are able to go forth to war in Israel, thou and Aaron shall number them by their armies. Redemption. Hallelujah. Fight for redemption. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> You see, God is preaching through everything, through all things. And he's speaking to us all the time. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And we're going to stop right there. <laughs> we'll come back here next time and we'll continue because Jesus wanted me to go through the whole Bible. So, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Redemption and reconciliation. Lord, we just praise you. We thank you, Lord. We thank you. You're so mighty and wonderful. Thank you, Lord, for touching our hearts, Lord, and showing us that you are perfect in all your ways and that you love us and that you are reconciling us back to yourself. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Praise your holy name. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. All right. Bless your day.